Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter endgame, Nikola Jokic. And as y'all know, Jokic is the level 40 reward for this season of my team, season 8. And uh, my boy, Mini Coach, as y'all can see, managed to get the card on his account. He's one of the first in the world to get this Jokic card, and I really do appreciate him letting me hop on his account to record this video. I'll leave a link to his Twitch down in the description below. He doesn't stream a ton, but make sure y'all go drop him a follow and show him some love. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 6,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day and I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it let's see what Jokic is looking like so Jokic is obviously a 6'11 point guard or center option gonna be playing him at point guard in today's video I think his better position will be point guard because at center he just doesn't quite have the size to compete against the tacos yows Mark Eaton's guys like that but as an endgame card obviously is going to have perfect stats 99 across the board tendency wise same thing could have perfect tendencies 100 dunk tendencies across the board defensive tendencies are also going to be 100 100 across the board and then badge wise he's going to have every single hall of fame badge all 80 hall of fame badges looks like he's going to be an incredible incredible card on paper he's basically perfect now the question is how does he compare to guys to your other big point guards that you can run in the game guys like ben simmons dyson daniels that's uh shack i guess etc etc because i think you could run Jokic at the one a ball handler like an mj a kobe a lamello somebody like that at the two and you can have an absolutely elite backcourt if you do something like that all right, hop into freestyle. Let's see how this Jokic moves. So he's got really good saves. He's got the best saves in the game. The D-Rose size of the tray size of escape, which allows him to do this misdirection spam right here. That's a nice little creative move that you can implement into your offense. And then jump shot wise, I'm pretty sure his jumper is very good. And it does look like it is. He's got base, uh, Ray Allen base. I'm not entirely sure what his upper is, but it's very smooth, very consistent, very easy to green. He's got great size to PG position. As y'all can see at 6'11", he's got a massive player build, which is super nice as well. So I think Jokic on paper is looking like a top PG in the game. I don't think he's going to be a true power a ball handler more of a secondary ball handler because of how tall he is at 6'11 it's going to limit his movement just a tiny bit but he's moving pretty darn well in freestyle I'll say that obviously going to have basically perfect dunks as well perfect safe dunk standing dunks I think he's probably even got the MJ dunk package for that free throw line dunk as well so obviously he's got elite movement incredible size the PG position perfect stats and badges I think this Jokic card is going to be absolutely elite so without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what Jokic can do all right, we win the tip. Let's get into our offense and see what we can do with Jokic. My opponent isn't even playing defense yet. Now he's playing defense. I don't know what he was doing, but we're matched up against Steph Curry, who I will admit just doesn't have the size to compete with a guy like Jokic. And Jokic is a great look on the first possession of the game. Knocks down a green light to start us off. Love to see that. It's a great start from Jokic. Let's see what he's got on the defensive end of the court as well. At 6'11", with all of his defensive badges, I'm hoping he has decent defensive animations because if he has defense, decent defensive animations, he's going to be one of the best point guards in the game for sure, especially because of his size and his versatility. In terms of his switchability and things like that at the PG position. So pushing the ball in transition, we did wind up giving a bucket there, giving a bucket up there, I should say, but that is okay. Burst into the right. Okay, I can't burst. I cannot dribble. Goodness gracious, I cannot dribble. We do get a decent look though, and Jokic Green's another open, knocking down two threes to start off the game. That's a really, really solid start for sure. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of Jokic so far. Let's see if we can play some defense. He's got out of position Lomelo at the four, so Dirk matches up pretty well there. Uh, we also got in-game Carmelo in the court as a card. I actually haven't used it, so this is our first chance to use Carmelo as well let's see what Carmelo's moving like just for a second just because i haven't done any sort of carmelo gameplay kind of want to see what he could do and he's got a great release as well set shot 25 knocks it down and that's going to be a quick quick great performance by Jokic in that first game let's hop into a second one and let's keep it going another game let's see what Jokic can do in this second game got another decent ish matchup but though i will admit my opponent's team is not very good he's got zion at the I don't know why he has Zion at the center. I don't know, but we'll take our easy. That should be an A1. No, it's not going to be an A1, but we're going to get to go to the free throw line and see what Jokic can do. He is such a mismatch at 6'11 at the PG position with his player build. Matched up against especially the shorter point guards that people like to run. Like you're going to see a lot of this Isaiah Thomas, for example, in clutch time. And Jokic is just an absolute mismatch against that Isaiah Thomas card. Knocking down both free throws with a 99 free throw and a great free throw release. You're never going to miss any sort of free throws with this Jokic card. So let's play some defense. Good defense by Carmelo. Let's lock up this Jamal Wilkes. We'll see if we can get ourselves another quick. Quick, easy win. Great defense. Not a good shot by my opponent. Doesn't look like he's a very good player. Jokic sky for the board. Showing off those center skills, even though he's now at the point guard position. Burst in here, dragging back. Burst into the right. Stop and pop. And Jokic 4-3. That's a tough shot. It's only a 33% and it goes down. Oh my gosh. That shot should never go in, but this game kind of sucks. And I'll take the easy bucket regardless. So, oh my gosh. Look at Taco playing D as well. Throwing it back up to Jokic. Jokic attacking. Dragging back again. Also looks like his release is very tough to contest, but he gets another three. Knocks that one down as well and that's two quick quits i'm pretty sure and it is going to be two quick quits beautiful stuff by Jokic in these first two games let's hop into one more and let's finish it off 
All right, getting on to our offense in this third and final game. Let's see what we can get cooking with Jokic again. I also want to kind of see how contestable his jump shot is. So we're going to quick stop here, shoot the three, and we're going to green an 11%. He looks a little tough to contest, especially with how tall he is at the PG position. Shorter point guards just simply are not going to be able to match up well with this Jokic card, and he is looking absolutely phenomenal. Really, really impressing me so far. I got to say, I knew he was going to, as an in-game card, he'd be very good. He's got elite six, a really good jumper, all those things. But this card is looking so good that I'm considering grinding for him. And if y'all know me, y'all know I don't like offline very much. I don't like to grind xp but i'm thinking for this Jokic card it really might be worth it because he is such an elite point guard option i can tell especially if you put him next to a primary ball handler at the two somebody like a kobe an mj a lamello ball michael finley etc 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 guys like that with really good six grand hill guys like that who can be your primary ball handler and have a little bit less size so they're going to move a little bit faster you put him next to one of those guys i just i think that might be the perfect backcourt in my team because he is so tall and so good at the point guard position on both ends of the court really just gives him incredible versatility and incredible skill uh and just makes him a really really valuable card look at the defense as well able to recover and get a great contest on Jaden Ivy or is that Jaden Ivy I think that's Jaden Ivy isn't it burst into the middle though drag him back see what we can get cooking again drag back again let's quick stop again why not let's quick stop again and yo could just get a green another one wide open you got to put a hand up this man is absolutely uncontestable unless you get right up in his face and put a hand up Jokic is absolutely dominating this game just showing what he can do in all three of these games playing at such an elite level I'm so impressed by this Jokic card good defense get a hand up uh Good D. Look at Carmelo getting the strip. We are absolutely hooping with this squad we got on the court today. Yes, sir. Size up again. Jokic for three again. Jokic greens another 11%. Oh my gosh. This is one of the best game plays I've done in a long time. We are just dominating. I am so impressed by this Jokic card. I really, I don't even know what to say. All right, Jokic. We did give him a bucket there. His first points of the game, but we're still have a nine to two lead. Let's see what Jokic can get going here. Uh, bursting toward the middle, dragging back, sizing up and attacking the rim. Jokic blowing right by, going to the rim, getting past Danny Ferry and throwing down a great safe dunk. He's got those perfect safe dunks. Quick drops off one, especially with his size. He's going to be basically impossible to block on his dunks. Taco gets the board. Then we get the ball right back into Jokic's hands and he is just going to work on the offensive end. I love this card six. He moves so well and he's got such a smooth jumper as well. Not able to green that one there. It's only a 34% though and he jumped with Sigma. I definitely think Jokic is looking pretty uncontestable as well which is just another feature to the card that i honestly didn't expect him to have as the very very it's the tough to contest jumper that guys like mj uh Kawhi, rudy gay etc have it looks like Jokic might have that feature as we green yet another quick stop three is up to all 14 our points and has sharp shooting takeover such an impressive performance by this Jokic card he is looking truly elite in my team all right, Jokic, I think my opponent has stopped playing. It looks like he's basically done. So he's basically going to call it quits on this game, I think. So we're going to get a little fancy. We're going to quick stop one more time with Jokic, and we're going to knock down another three, hopefully. Okay, I dribbled too much. I'm not going to lie. So we got to get one more three-pointer off, though. I don't think my opponent is playing anymore, and we're not going to get it off. But that's okay. Jokic played absolutely amazing in all three of those games. Let's hop back to the main menu, and let's review the card. I gotta say, I am beyond impressed with this Jokic card. I will say, I still don't think, and this is this is a very specific thing, I don't think he's the best point guard in the game if you're playing a guy like MJ, Kobe, or Lamelo at the point guard position. I think he probably still falls in at that four spot, just because he, those guys are going to move better than Jokic is. That being said, I think you could make a debate that he is right there with all of them, and I think you could theoretically make the debate that he is the guy who fits best at the point guard position in the game. The reason that I say that is because you can run guys like Michael Jordan at the two. You can run Kobe at the two. You can run Lamelo at the two. You can got run a primary ball handles like Michael Finley and Grant Hill also at the two. All these guys with elite six that you can run at the two. And then you can have a seven foot point guard like Jokic who gives you incredible switchability, defensive ability, a super tough to contest jumper, the ability to be an incredible secondary ball handler, perfect stats and badges, all those things. Considering he is entirely free, I think everybody should be grinding for this card. Everybody should get, get in this Jokic card. And once you get him, I think he's got a spot in everybody's team because he is an absolutely incredible card. And I'm going to be honest, I was not at all considering getting this Jokic card on my account, but but now I'm seriously considering. I think I might have to grind this Jokic out and add him to the team because he is really that good. And I absolutely love this card. So hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.